Chào mừng bạn đến với cuộc phiêu lưu của thủ đô Hà Nội. Xin chào Sara. Roughly translated, welcome to Sarah's Hanoi Zoo Adventure vlog number six. Some days it's about waiting for inspiration to hit. So um, I've just been let into the tiger enclosure, and I thought, let's build some sand castles. And this is going to be a great time. So, sand castle day. Everybody immediately got very excited about this enrichment idea. It's free, it's quick, it's effective, and it's easy to replicate in any enclosure that has sand. We could make several in one enclosure to make sure that every animal gets to investigate and destroy them, and to make them even more interesting, we added scents to the sandcastles as well. Okay, welcome to sandcastle building day number 247. Now we're doing it everywhere. We trialled it with all our bears and all our tigers, and as you can see, everybody loved it. Bears naturally dig a lot anyway, so it's great to encourage that kind of behaviour, and the tigers really were interested in the smells that the sandcastles had, as well as having fun and destroying them at the same time. Throughout the course of my time here, we had also been training the bears and finally managed to get the keepers fully involved with it too. The sun bear female is very nervous, so here we are training her to build up confidence around people and form a bond with her keeper to make her easier to manage. We also managed to train all the moon bears to move into their indoor den at the sound of a bell. This then allows us to go outside and scatter all their food around so they have to forage for it instead of it being in one big pile. Conditioned them to that bell a little bit better and they have shifted successfully so we've done a scatter feed outside. Such a happy day, I am over the moon ecstatic. Scatter feed, two days running, so happy. Another task I wanted to complete before I left the zoo was adding more furniture to as many enclosures as we could. We started with the gibbons and added a simple bamboo log so that the gibbons could brachiate from it and rest on it as well. This proved really successful and was such a simple addition that the keepers added a second one without me even having to ask. We also refurnished the stump-tailed macaque enclosure so that they had more to climb on, more places to explore and more places where the keepers could potentially hide food for the macaques to find. It was a really hot day so watching the keepers shift these huge logs around in that heat was pretty amazing. And finally we come to the bear builds. Before I left the zoo we had two big bear projects, one for the moon bears and one for the sun bears. The Moon Bear project was very exciting because it was done in collaboration with Animals Asia's bear rescue team who came over to Hanoi Zoo to help us with the building work. Together with my team of keepers we put up some log walls for the bears. Welcome to Bear Build Day 1. Uh, we're currently in the Moon Bear enclosure. Um, uh, behind me you can see that these guys are constructing some visual barriers and we are hoping that this is going to reduce uh, the aggression between the Moon Bears and give them something else really nice and exciting uh, to explore within their enclosure as well. So it's a big, big project and uh, we've got several Moon Bear enclosures to uh, change around. We also added some new rotting logs to the enclosures for the bears to destroy and we also added some food into the log walls to encourage the bears to investigate their new enclosure additions. We then let the bears out, stood back and waited to see what their reaction would be. We all breathed a huge sigh of relief as the bears instantly went over to investigate and obviously loved the new additions to their enclosure. They even started climbing on the log walls, which was a behaviour we did not expect, but fantastic to see all the same. These were really happy bears, and because the furniture is in there all the time, we can keep adding food and making it fun. This is literally the best day ever. Okay, so it's bear build day, it's still day one. We're focusing on the visual barrier log walls, which also um, add a bit of a climbing frame structure because the bears are climbing them. Uh, they also add trickle feeder capabilities and they add scratching posts as well. So they're like triple whammy, they're really, really good. Uh, the keepers from Tam Dao are just finishing off this last one, you can see behind me. Um, they're really dedicated people. It is stonkingly hot today and yet they are just working through it. We added the same log walls to the sun bear enclosure too, which was also a great success. But this was not the only new thing the sun bears would get in their enclosure. 
Welcome to Bear Build Day 3. Uh, so we're finished doing the log walls now uh, for the Moon Bears and the Sun Bears. We're in Sun Bears now focusing on that. So the keepers have started demolishing their old furniture ready to make way for our brand new platforms. Uh, the keepers and I have been designing and discussing this design for about two months now so I'm so excited to see it finally come to fruition. I was assured that the Sun Bear build would definitely be complete before I left Hanoi and they certainly delivered on that promise. Once all the materials were here, the keepers steamed ahead with the building work. It was the keepers themselves that built everything, proving how resourceful and skilled they are. I was amazed at the speed of the progress and before I knew it, the finishing touches were added and it was time to let the sun bears out to explore. It's bear release day, we've done it. The building is complete. This is Mr Kong who helped design this. This is his original design. Then we moved it to this design, all the way up to this design. With much excitement, we let the two sun bears out to explore the new platforms, furniture and enrichment within the enclosure. We had given them the opportunity to climb for the first time ever, so it did take them a little while to pluck up the courage to set foot on the ladders and move higher, no matter how many treats we put up there to tempt them. After a few days and a lot of encouragement with honey, they finally made it to the top. It was the best leaving present I could have ever been given, seeing those bears climbing and exploring even if they did have a little bit of trouble figuring out how to get back down again. It's my last day tomorrow. I'm going to miss this guy. And I'm going to miss everybody. <laughs> Below me is the zoo from 65 floors up. This place, you can see it, has been my home for the past three months. It's been my family. It's been everything. And I caught it when I first came and I really struggled and now leaving it is incredibly sad. There's people and animals and routines even that I'm going to miss. <laughs> Just said goodbye to everybody at the zoo, quite an um, emotional goodbye. Uh, we've done a lot, we've achieved a lot, there's still more to do but um, it's my time to move on. Thank you Hanoi Zoo, uh, come on you, take a blast, that'd be it.